My favorite genre of Pokemon plush. Taking powerful and intimidating legendary Pokemon and turning them into little guys. Trademark. Just saw an adult man growl out a QR code on the wall. Yeah, was, sorry, that, 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 that was me. Writing prompt. Due to a paperwork filing error, you, a terrifying demonic creature, are now trapped in a contract with a small little girl. She is constantly summoning you to play tag, check for monsters in the closet, or look at her drawings. It's truly torture. I'm pretty sure that's an anime somewhere. To the people who sleep with their light on, one question. How do you sleep when letting them know where you are? Being ADHD is like being a cryptid, and when you trust someone enough, you're like, I will now show you my true form! Bucky Joe, do you have anything to say on Trans Visibility Day? Hold up, comically small microphone. Rise up. Attack. Destroy. Lay waste to the land also. Thanks, Pucky. Writing prompt. Death offers a game for your life, and you decide on D&D. &D. I assumed you've never played, I asked. The cloaked figure across from me shook their head slowly. Great, I said. I'll be the DM. I'll walk you through everything. First, character creation. Six hours later, Death sat leaned over the table with a Mountain Dew in one hand and a D20 in the other. Their hood was thrown back to reveal a bleached, grinning skull. We were in the company of four infernals from the depths of the abyss. I don't remember which of us invited each of them. Turned out we had a, quite a few friends in common. They rolled a one. Ooh, tough luck, I said with a smile. Five newts at Fumbles AU, where Foxy sounds like Mr. Krabs and refers to Freddy exclusively as Mr. Fazbear. I mean... How is that not canon already? I'm sorry, all I could think of is the meme with Mr. Crab going, Mr. Squidward, I should kick your f- There are two types of OCD people. The ones who keep their volume at an even number, and the ones who keep it at a multiple of five. Despite decades of bloodshed, the two factions are locked in an eternal stalemate. This war truly has no end in sight. And time to cause chaos in the comments. Multiples of five are the correct answer. All right, have fun. When you're angry at the characters, the story is well written. When you're angry at the writers, it is not. The presumption here is that the audience can tell the difference. Presuming they're not children, the audience can usually tell. Example, when a character does something you don't like, but it feels like something the character would do, you get mad at the character. When a character does something you don't like, and the history of that character makes it unbelievable that the character would do that thing, you get mad at the writers. I am looking at you, Game of Thrones. What did you do to Daenerys? Ever have that insatiable urge to bite something that you usually shouldn't? A leather chair? Your phone? A seat in a car? A book? Something with just the right amount of squishiness to it that you can sink your teeth into it without breaking it? Or is that just me? Clowns with dementia, call that, uh, call that, uh, call that. <sighs> what, what, what was I talking about? Aw, that's not funny. Are you guys okay? Sometimes I get the vibe that y you're at your wit's end. Fairy Cosmos, you have no idea! I predict that it's going to take approximately two hours after a Tears of the Kingdom's launch for Nintendo to regret the amount of power they gave us. Yep. Gotta make an extremely long spear, probably 24 long spear, and call it my personal space stick. I've never seen snow. Someone please describe it to me. It smells like water. It's like I'm there. The fact that the unpublished book series that only exists in my head doesn't have a fandom yet may be one of the greatest crimes in literary history. I know, right? We tricked our hens into hatching out the rarest baby peacocks. Wow, epic chicken prank. Wow, now they got the chickens doing YouTuber face. <laughs> oh my god! Hmm, someone I care about told me that I'm a mediocre artist and I should spend my time on things that actually make money. This will take me several business days to recover from. <laughs> Excuse you, my test subjects are treated with the highest respect. Does being given the highest quality juice reward sound like a human rights violation to you? So what if I keep them in cages? They love the cages. Why does this sound like the doctor from TF2? That's how I lost my medical license. <laughs>
Secret hug techniques to be used only in dire emergencies. The Heimlich? Crazy how many people want characters in fiction to speak and act like they've had 20 hours of intensive therapy. Could not be me. I want these bitches fucked up insane!